Checking on Goofy. Goofy used up all of his ethers. Wonderful. Great. All right, well, the next fight is going to be number eight in the organization, which is Data Axel. And boy, howdy, Data Axel. Man, I can't tell if he's one of the easier ones or one of the tougher ones. It's a very unusual fight. Um, basically, it's going to be the fight that you fought... It's going to be the Axel fight that Roxas had at the end of his story, except we're not in Perpetual Valor form. And there are quite a few differences. Mainly, the burning floor will constantly make us take damage. So, and it's also an extremely tiny arena, and the walls will make us take damage if we touch them. So, it's a very, very aggressive fight. Once you get the timing down, though, you can actually be... It's one of the fastest data fights. So, very first thing we're going to do, Fireaga's not going to do us anything, we're going to equip Blizzaga. Blizzaga deals insane damage to Axel. Also, the other main thing we're going to do is, instead of Ultima Weapon as our main Keyblade, we are going to equip, believe it or not, the Mysterious Abyss Keyblade from the Little Mermaid world. Yeah, it has pretty bad stats compared to Ultima Weapon, but it gives us Blizzard Boost, which will make our Blizzagas even more powerful when combined with our already just default Blizzard Boost ability we have equipped. So we have two Blizzard Boosts, so we're basically doing 40% more damage with our Blizzard Blizzagas. So a single Blizzaga will basically take out one of Axel's HP bars. On top of that, unless I'm mistaken, I think just using physical attacks with the Mysterious Abyss Keyblade also makes a few MP orbs appear. That's really not going to have a role in the fight, but it's just a nice little thing to know about. So for this fight, we're basically he's basically going to do the exact same combo on us over and over again. What we're going to do is we're going to Refle get the combo to knock him back and deal a lot of damage, then fire two Blizzagas at him. And then just keep that up, and when we start getting low on uh, MP, we're going to pop an Efer to refill it. What's going to be risky about this fight is we're going to be at 1 HP for most of the fight, so if he gets even a single attack on us, it's game over. That's going to be very tricky. And also, as long as the floor is on fire, you cannot finish the fight. You have to bait out a reaction command from him, and use the reaction command in the center of the stage to put out the fire, and then you'll be able to kill him. So it's, it's easier to just kind of go in and see what it's all about. Anyhow, number 8 in the organization, Data Axel. This, this is an interesting one. So he's going to start by setting the floor on fire, we're going to lock onto him. Yep, do that, followed by two Blizzagas. And we're already messing up the combo. Yep, we messed up the combo too much at the beginning, so it broke out of it, and we died. Expect to see that a lot. Because if you just go ham on him with the Keyblade, you're going to die real fast. You gotta have a strategy. Come here. I'll make it all stuck. Lock on and back away from his first attack. Stop doing this combo. Do your get back. Yeah. Wow, this attack already. Okay, well that's the reaction plan. We can at least douse the fire. And that stunts in for this so we can get off the combo. Oh, he set the floor on fire again. Ain't that, ain't that nice. Gotta use one form then. Shut up! Eat my strike rate. Oh wow, he ate my strike rate, like literally. This is like one fight that strike rate doesn't work before. The burning floor, man. The burning floor just does so many, causes so many problems. Man, put him out and let me heal. Forgot I was still in uh, better form. So literally none of what I'm doing is what I planned on. We can just guard this uh, reaction man, except the finishing move. I should have dodged a little bit. Dog on it. Oh, man. I knew I wasn't going to win that one. He, he never did the starting combo, which is weird. He's supposed to always do that. Okay, let's try this again. We got him pretty close, though, which is surprising. Come here. I'll make it all stuck. Okay, I'm going to try using Reflect on this first. Nope, never mind. All right, let's combo him if he does that attack. You're not supposed to do this yet, dude. 
Wait, at least I've got full MP now. Blizzard, yeah. Look at how much damage Blizzard is doing. Okay, I'm using too many Blizzagas there. If you only use two Blizzagas instead of three I was using, then he's gonna keep doing that attack. Alright, let's try this again. And worst, worst comes to worst, I'll just re-equip Ultima Weapon, because the extra Blizzard boost, it definitely helps, but it's not necessary. Come here, I'll make it all stop. This is the one and only fight I use in the series of this keyboard before, though. There, take that. Then he does it again. So then this just kind of starts a combo that we can keep up. Pop an Aether, we're running low. And yeah, we're at 1 HP, which is risky, but he's just going to keep doing this over and over again. Until he doesn't. And when he stops, that's when we get. Darn it! Push the wrong button. I cast Blizzaga instead of Refluga, so I died for it. But you can see that's the loot. You can just get him in that loop and eat away through like all of his HP. Then he'll do his desperation move where you can just heal and guard it. And then use the reaction command and you'll end the fight. If you use Replica too early, though, then you can end up taking damage from that get back attack. You also gotta keep an eye on your MP meters so that way you pop an Aether before you run out. Like right here. Okay, so now we heal. Guard that, and then dodge roll away from that. Oh, and he's doing it again. And then don't be afraid to enter limit form if he's look dire. What we need him to do is uh, go into the walls. When he goes into the walls like that, wait in the center, and you can use the reaction command. I was too slow, so I died. But the Axel fight, once you, like, if you get your movements down, it's one of the most consistent fights. Come here. I'll make it all and it's a very fast fight, as you can see. You saw how fast we were hitting through his HP bars. <laughs> Refluga to make him do go away. Refluga, Blizzaga, Blizzaga, wait. Refluga. Generally, if he does a different move, then just use a Ruffle guy to make him get back, and then he should go to his get back attack. Uh-oh. Got to pop it. Uh-oh. Gotta go a little bit more to heal quickly. Okay, he's doing Got It Memorized twice in a row, eh? Darn it! He was... That's the problem. Sometimes he just doesn't go into the wall. If he had gone into the wall, we could have finished the fight. But I made a couple mistakes there. Like I didn't pop any for when I was supposed to. Come here. I'll make it all stop. You can also use elixirs if you want this fight to be a little safer, because elixirs will fill your HP and your MP. So you won't be at 1 HP for the entire fight. So he's just going to do that again, then. Alright, so he's 
don't want these people, we can't finish the job because he's the floor is still on fire. Darn it! If Axel just doesn't want to go in the wall, man, he just doesn't want to go in the wall. And you can't end the fight until he does. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Come here, I'll make it all stop. There's probably a way to always make him go into the wall, but I'm just forgetting what it is. Thankfully, the burning floor can't kill you. It can just reduce your HP to one. Darn it, was not keeping an eye on my MP gauge. Darn it. Darn it. Come here, I'll make it all stop. One of the few fights that Blizzard is actually really good for. Like this and the Barbosa fight, basically. You're done. You're done now, son. You're done, son. You got me. That's Tinda Axel. That's how the fight's kind of supposed to go. If you can get a combo on him, that will force him into a wall. Yeah. It's consistent once you can get it down. And it's also very fast once you can get it down. And much like his friend Roxas, we get a magic boost for beating him. So if you've... The only problem with that fight is you have to use Ethers, basically. So if you've got cash to burn, you can basically buy AP boosts if you're good. Or I'm sorry, magic boosts. Yeah, that's Data Axel. It's hard for me to rank him because, like, like I said, it's a very consistent fight. It's a very fast fight if you know how to do him. If you don't know this strat, he's going to be one of the toughest Data fights by far. And even if you do know this strat, there's just so much to keep track of and so many things that can go wrong that it's still a fairly tough fight. So I put it on the harder scale, like. Medium to hard for me, I would say. Anyhow, that's it for that fight. Uh...